This is Stevie A here doing a video for my Home Depot review of the Wayne Waterbug Auto. This is product number WWB-AUTO. Um, in this video, I'm going to do a just a quick overview of the pump and then a demonstration of it. I'm going to plop it into this sink here. Um, I do not have a flooded basement, thank goodness, or a flooded yard right now or a pool to drain. Um, so I'm just going to demonstrate it for you here in my old slop sink. Anyway, this is a quarter horsepower pump. Um, it hooks up to a garden hose. You see here I got a short hose. Um, it's completely sub submersible. It'll pump water up to 23 feet, so it has a lot of power to it. Um, at around zero feet, it can pump up to 1,900 gallons an hour, uh, which is a good amount. And this is a multi-use pump, uh, so you can um, use it uh, you know, down in your basement. You can drain a pool with it. You can even put this thing in the, in the yard. And when I flip it upside down, you'll see um, it has some good uh, filters and guards on it to keep it from getting clogged. Um, this pump uh, also has a floater on it, so it has an auto mode. It's got a little bo bobber built into it. Um, when I flip it over, you, you, you'll hear it. The pump primes at an inch and five eighths of water, and it'll drain down to a half inch of water. So, um, and with the auto mode on it, you can just leave it plugged in and uh, it'll kick in uh, whenever basement floods, your yard floods, things of that sort. So um, on this pump, uh, a few fe features on it. It's got a 10 foot cord, so it's got a nice long cord range there. It's got a little strap um, for pulling things in, in and out. Uh, pretty nice design and size. Flip it upside down. Um, and it just fills the water. You can see it takes the water in there. And you can actually hear the motor running because I have it upside down. Um, but it's got these little teeth here. So if you plop this thing down the yard or the basement or whatever the flood, uh, it's less likely to clog up with uh, debris or things of that sort. So and I'll flip it over and you can hear the bobber turning it off or the, or the, or the floater. So um, overall, I really like this pump. I got it. Um, uh, with some water we get in our ba basement, I can kind of just leave it in the in the lowest spot and leave it plugged in, and it'll pump the vast majority of it out. Uh, also, I do get some flooding in my backyard in the in the spring, and instead of waiting a few days uh, to get the water out, um, I can just uh, use this pump in, in the yard, which is neat. So. The description for this said 15 amps. Well, the last thing I'll cover on the back here, it says this is a uh, draws 2.5 amps. Um, so you can run this off most generators too. So, all right, uh, without further ado, I'm gonna dunk it in and pump it out. It might get a little wet here, um, but it should kick right on as soon as I put it in. And there we go. Pumping, you can see there's a nice right there. I'm pumping all that water out. Okay, and it stopped, so I'll let that sink drain. And then right now, there's actually, probably where the pump is, probably a little, uh, it seems like there's maybe a quarter of an inch of water in there actually. So what I'll do is I will put down the water a little more. Um, and as this fills, once it hits a certain point, you'll see the pump kick right back on. Overall, you can see this pump works pretty well, pumps a lot of water, never mind all the dirt and grime in my sink. It, uh, none, none, none of it obviously clogged the pump. So uh, this is a pretty nice pump. Uh, if you need to drain your yard out, you want to, you just want to have a pump sitting down in the basement uh, that turns on, on and off whenever water levels get high. Um, or if you need something to drain a pool and you want things drained down to about half inch. Here, like I said, it looks like it drained it down um, probably about a quarter inch, three eighths of an inch. So. So anyway, uh, this concludes uh, my uh, product video of the Wayne Water Pump Auto, and I hope it helped inform your purchasing decision. Uh, thank you for watching.